OK, so first, I find the valve on the ball. I, I place it to, to where I'm aiming. I'm going to basically hit the ball right on the valve. Then you obviously pick uh, the side of the goal, or if you want to go right of the keeper, wherever you position the ball to, to where you want to strike it. Then usually I take uh, four steps back, and then usually slightly to the right. Then you kind of see where the keeper is and pretty much focus your, where you kind of want to put the ball. Then obviously when you're running up, keep focused on, on the point that you want to hit. The main thing for me now is, is when I do pick my spot and run up to the ball is I hit the ball pretty much as flat as possible with no spin. Open your foot right up. The main thing is you hit the ball exactly where you want it to, right in the middle. You try and hit it so you're not curling the ball or hitting it like a kind of, they say now, as a knuckle ball. You want to get the flight as where the ball is moving everywhere and making it difficult for the keeper. I think with the follow through, you want to kind of keep your body kind of up tall and not let it slide because your foot usually makes the ball spin. So if you're keeping your whole body in line, then you get that straight follow through, which will put no spin on the ball. Hopefully then the ball will go exactly where you want it to. It can go left, right. It depends where the wind and, and uh, where the air moves the ball because it's not spinning and uh, hopefully it goes in exactly where you want it to. The problem where it goes wrong, you need to hit it in such a precise point where you hit it right dead in the centre where the ball doesn't move. If you hit it slightly to the left, the ball's going to start curling so it doesn't work. I think for me the most important thing is, is when you stood over a free kick, whether it be the first or the last minute, is you 100% you commit to what you're doing. I think if you don't commit to it and, and you don't fully go for it, then, then you're not doing the technique that you've been practising in training and, and spent hours doing on the training field. And, uh, yeah, when you go through the routine exactly what you've what you've been taught yourself and commit to it, then usually you trust in your ability and eight times out of ten you kind of get the ball to where you want it to go.